Hey everybody, this is going to be a video on a new birdhouse I picked up from the Michigan Bluebird Society. And I know what you're thinking, it's probably going to be a blue bird house. It's actually not. This is a chickadee house. And I think you can also use it for winds. But the inspiration behind it comes from a design that was very popular with bluebirds. It's called the Gilbertson House. Uh, I actually own this same house in the bluebird version. And on the Michigan Bluebird Society website, I noticed that they make it in a chickadee size. So I uh, went ahead and picked one up and they were great. They got the thing to me in about three days. Today's February the 13th, 2021. We're getting ready some, for some really cold weather. So I wanted to get this set up in case any of the birds wanted to use it for, uh, you know, just keeping warm at nighttime. They're not really into nesting season yet, but uh, I thought, hey, what a better time to get it set up than now uh, with this cold weather coming in. But I just want to show, I'll do a side-by-side -side of this compared to the Bluebird house so you can see the difference in the size. But in terms of setting it up, you're going to need a piece of half-inch conduit and you're going to need to get it cut. Usually the stores will sell this in a 10 foot section. You're going to need to get it cut to about, I did five and a half feet because I'm planning on burying about six inches of it into the ground and then having five feet of it, uh, you know, sticking up with the house on top. I also bought a two foot piece of rebar. And I believe the, the dimensions on the rebar in terms of thickness was three eighths of an inch. And, uh, and then again, anyway, here's the house, here's the roof. I'm going to go, uh, show you a little bit more about it and do a little side-by-side -side comparison to the size difference between it and the Bluebird version. And then we'll get it uh, get it set up. So I mentioned the size difference. This is the Bluebird house, the Gilbertson Bluebird house. And this is the new Chickadee house that I'm gonna be setting up. And again, this is Chickadee and Wren, uh, the, the way the description read. So I believe either of those birds would be attracted to it. But notice the difference in the opening and notice the difference in the height of the house. So you can definitely tell they're, they're designed for two different birds. And then real quick, we'll just stay on this one. I'm gonna show you how simple these are to use. When you wanna open and close them, you just give it a little squeeze on the sides and it just pops open like so. Very easy to clean out, uh, check the nest when you've got you know birds nesting. Uh, the roof is very simple, it's just got a couple screws. When you're ready to put it back together, you just start with one side. Again, give it a little bit of a squeeze and it just locks into place. So great design. The bluebirds from the first year I put it out, I've had bluebirds nesting in it every single year. So hopefully I'll have the same results with the chickadee. That's why I wanted to pick up the chickadee version when I saw there was one because I've had so much luck with this house and it's been so easy to work with and so simple to set up. So anyway, again, just wanted to make sure you could see the difference in the two designs when they're side by side. Both great houses for, for either bird you're trying to attract. One more thing I want to point out, you'll notice that both of them have the recycled poly wood roof. This house actually on the Michigan Bluebird Society website is supposed to come with a wood roof. I requested and paid a little bit more for the poly wood roof just because where I live, we get a lot of moisture, a lot of heat, and I wasn't sure how well the wood would hold up. This roof here, I've had it again for years and it's, I mean, it looks like it did the day we got it. So. You know, you might reach out to them and ask if you could do the same thing if you want the polywood roof. But just know if you go to the website, you're going to see this house except with the wood roof, not with the, uh, you know, the recycled plastic polywood. But e either roof would probably be fine. I just preferred the uh, polywood roof because I've had so much luck with the polywood roof that came on the Bluebird house. So to mount the house, you'll notice the first thing I did is just buried the rebar about halfway into the ground, left a little bit sticking up. And the other thing is I tamped with another rod all of the dirt around it just to make it nice and sturdy where, you know, there's no movement in it whatsoever. And then basically all you're going to do is take your conduit pole and slide it on top of the rebar. And that rebar is just going to give you a little bit of extra support. Now, the reason I left that uh, tamping area down there is again, I'm going to try and screw that conduit into the ground a little bit more again just to add some stability and then I'm going to pack the dirt, the dirt around the whole thing and then again tamp it all in just to make sure it's nice and solid and then once we get that done you just simply put the birdhouse on top and you're good to go. Okay so I've got the rebar in the ground uh, tamped in nice and sturdy then I put the half inch conduit on top of the rebar tamp that in as well and then I put some rocks around the pole you don't have to do that I had some extra rocks and figured I would just throw them around there to give it a little bit of extra support in case there's any strong winds or anything uh, so basically the last thing I have to do is just 
get the house mounted to the top of the pole. And the way you do that, you can notice there's just a little bitty hole cut out into the roof. All you're gonna do is just slide that into place on top of the conduit. And once it gets up there, it's a little bit snug. If you just give it a little twist, it'll fall down and slide right into place. And then you can just angle it however you would like to. That simple. Again, very easy house to mount. Uh, the conduit, rebar, everything that I bought cost about $7. Um, just again, very easy house to mount, very easy house to clean, easy house to check nests, uh, you know, when you want to check for your babies and that sort of thing. And uh, it definitely holds up over time. So just, I, I can't recommend this house enough. Um, if you would, subscribe to my channel and what I'll do once we get into nesting season, I'll post some updates with any, if any uh, wrens or chickadees start nesting in the box. But again, I've had great success with the Bluebird version, so I would expect the same with this one. Um, if there's any questions I can answer for you, feel free to ask and I would be happy to try and help any way I can. If the video was helpful, if you could hit the like button, that would be awesome. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Take care.